All right. Um, so we have our action script three file created. Um, we're going to use action script to make animating easier. Um, go ahead and rename layer one to AS or action script if you like to spell things out. Yeah. And we're going to create a new layer. Um, we'll call this layer. Uh, I guess we call it lips or mouth or anything like that. Um, and basically what we're going to do is instead of having to go through and uh, animate um, the lips, you know, going through making keyframes and bringing in different ones, um, we're going to create a movie clip that contains all of our different mouth movements. And uh, with action script, we'll tell that movie clip to go to a different mouth movement whenever uh, we're coming through and actually uh, animating. Uh, so I'm going to, on the lips layer, uh, go ahead and just draw out, uh, yeah, draw something out. What's it called? Yeah, just draw out what could be a mouth movement. It's a mouth. Just draw a mouth. You can draw a tongue on it if you want to. Or draw a line. <laughs> it, it, it's really just for the exercise. <laughs> I'll, I'll get rid of my tongue. It's a mouth. We're not in prison, guys. Yep. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so once you have your awesome mouth drawn out, jerks, um, come through here and hit F8 on your keyboard after you've selected. And I'm going to name my movie clip Mouth. Say okay. And then let's uh, double click on the mouth layer, or on the yeah, mouth movie clip. And first thing you'll want to do is rename your layer one, because I like layers being named. I'll call it mouths. Uh, movie clip. Alright. Um, so go ahead and click on frame 5 and hit F6 on your keyboard. And you can draw a different mouth shape or just manipulate the one you have. I have no idea what this is. <laughs> ah, rah, rah. Yeah, there you go. Hey, that, that actually kind of looks decent, yeah? I need a little um, wrinkle under here. Ah. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so we'll stick with two for right now. Um, we've got one mouth shape at frame one and the other at frame five. If you're wondering why I didn't just do frame one and frame two, it's so that I can actually kind of get a little space in between it. I like to space things out. It's good. Um, the next thing we're going to do is create a new layer above the mouths layer. And rename this layer to labels. Uh, we learned at the last class that um, you can use the go to and stop different frame numbers um, to go to and stop at different frames. Pretty simple. 
Uh, you can also use what are called frame labels um, if I wanted to come through here and uh, so if I click on frame one of my labels layer click on the actual frame and under your properties you have a label area where you can put in a label name um, so I can put in you know smile um, and with this instead of saying go to and stop one you can say go to and stop smile um, so that if you ever you know, add any frames in between or anything like that it will follow that frame label and not the number um, so we'll use this when we're going through and creating our different mouth shapes um, I'll create a new keyframe at frame 5 here so at frame 5 on the labels layer hit F6 and name it whatever your mouth looks like say grr, I have no idea what that is um, and you'll notice as you do that I increase my frame size a little red flag will appear where the label is uh, that means that everything's up and running good to go. So basically what this is going to do is instead of having like 10 different graphics um, in your library that you have to pull out, you can put them all inside of one movie clip and just use action script to say, okay, I need this one, I need this one, um, to move it around. Uh, it makes the development a little bit easier. Uh, so once you have this set up, um, I went ahead and locked both layers. I'm going to hop back to scene one. Alright, so now that we have the uh, Lips Movie Clip set up with our two different frame labels, um, if you were to test it right now, I went ahead and locked my Lips layer, just to let you know. Uh, if you tested it right now, hitting Control Enter, it's just going to go back and forth between them because we don't have anything stopping it. Yeah. Uh, so, first thing we want to do, um, actually, my bad, I need to unlock the Lips layer real quick so that we can name it. Um, so if you click on your lips movie clip or mouth movie clip, whatever it's called, um, you can go into properties and give it an instance name so that we can reference it in our action script. Um, so I'll just give mine the instance name mouth. Um, so again, click on the actual movie clip that's on your stage and underneath properties uh, given an instance name of mouth now I can go ahead and lock that layer and let's go ahead and put some frames inside of here um, so I'm going to hop over to frame 40 and hit F5 on my keyboard on the mouth layer so that we have a little bit of distance we can work with uh, as we're setting up our action script. And then what we can do inside of here, uh, the first thing we want to do with our action script is have it stop at a certain location so that it's not looping inside of that movie clip. Um, so I'll come through here and hit F9 on the action script layer on frame 1. That'll pull up your actions panel. F9. Um, and then we can reference that movie clip. We gave it the instance name of mouth. So you're going to want to start with referencing the movie clip. Add a period after that. And we'll say go to and stop. Uh, let's go ahead and I'll have it stop at my second one, which I named Gur Because I have no idea what it was. Grr. It 
name it whatever your second one was named. That that was the frame labels that we set up. Yeah, we had uh, the first one. This right here, the frame label. Yeah, f frame five, name it whatever yours looks like. Mine looked like a gur, so I named mine gur. Uh, so if you test that, hitting control enter on your keyboard, you should see it stopped at the second position. Um, now what you can do with your movie clip as you're going through and animating and typically you'll be scrubbing back and forth through audio, um, say at frame 6, we'll go to frame 6, um, say you need to use another position for the mouth inside of that frame, uh, you can hit or click on frame 6 and hit F6 on your keyboard to insert a keyframe. Um, and if you'll remember the way the action script is read, it's read left to right as it's playing. So when it hits frame 1 as it's playing, it's going to go to and stop at GUR. As soon as it hits frame 6, you'll see there's more action script that's in a new keyframe. And so it'll play that. So we can say mouth dot go to and stop smile um, so the first the first five frames here it'll be the gur when it hits six it'll go to the smile and then you can just really you can continue that throughout your movie here if I test it gur smile So what you can do with this is you can continue to go through and just at random parts, say mouth dot go to and stop. Grr. Mouth dot go to and stop. Smile. Um, and where this is really helpful is when you do have all the different syllables and constants and everything that you have inside of there. Um, and say you've got a movie clip of a person you're animating and they're walking. Um, well, you've got the person you're animating while they're walking, and then a mouth is typically inside of that movie clip. Um, so you can you can stack the movie clips, kind of like what we talked about with Inception. Um, if I had my uh, movie clip for a person. And I gave it an instance name of person. I can set this up like person dot mouth dot go to and stop smile. Um, so what that would do is it would go inside of my person movie clip, go inside of the mouth movie clip, and then move whatever the lip motion is that you need. Um, so instead of having to go through and you know put in new mouths while you're animating a person and all of that, you can use code to kind of help you with it. Yeah. Yeah. The, the the biggest thing with the whole copy and paste though is if you do have a full number of consonants and vowels and everything, you know, just by looking at this, I see a. You're not going to see that this is you know, okay. This is a smile and this is this, um, because since it is written in action script, you know, if you'll watch while I'm looking at this on my timeline, the mouth doesn't move. Um, I, I know that it's going to move because I've written in an action script, uh, but so you're not going to know, you know, okay, this one is, um, this one is a gur, so I can copy and paste that. Does that make sense, Luke? Um, yeah, frame 14. I, I just kind of put some more in there just to show you how it can continue to talk. And again, you know, the great thing about this is you can go into one movie clip, set up all the mouth motions that you want, um, and then, you know, you can have these, instead of the go to and stop smile, you can have, like, go to and stop R, if you're looking for that R mouth shape. 
Um, you can go go to and stop O. You're looking for the O mouse shape. Um, and you can really use it to work to your advantage um, while you're going through and animating. Uh, such is the quick tip on using ActionScript inside of the animations.